you know, uh, one of the one of the things we used to have land base, and they were still at eleven o'clock at night. And uh, one time we were honoring Milton Berle, and uh, Jack Burrow was a very famous comedian. He did a thing on radio called Baron Munchausen in Cliff Wall, Baron Munchausen and Charlie. And Jack was sitting in the first row. And Jack had a reputation for being a little tight-fisted with his money. And Burrow made a crack that night. He said, gee, we had a terrible tragedy here at the club this afternoon. And Jack Burrow left a 10 cent tip and the waiter dropped dead. <laughs> well, everybody, most people laughed, but Jack didn't. Jack, Jack did not out. laugh. Yeah. He never came back to the club. And he was a wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> that was one of the sad instances of the club. Yeah. And, but and incidentally, Uncle Melty could do things like that. Melty joined the club, and I was doing his show, as a matter of fact, and Martin Beckley was the shepherd. So he came in and he said, you know, uh, like Marty was working for an agency. He said, you know, Burrow would love to be a lamb, and he was blackboard years ago, which was a very sad thing that they had in club life, the blackboard. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, nobody knew who was doing it. And, uh, Anyway, Burl had been blackboard, so Bonnie said, would you post months of Burl? So I said, sure. He said, I have to tell you, your buddy, Bert Barr, is going to be upset about it. So said, Bonnie, I talked to Bert, and I said, you know, we, that, that's not right. So anyway, we put Burl up the membership, and Larv walked out. So I guess he was out for months. We were all upset about it, because Bert was there every day. Yes, he was yeah. a delightful guy. So we get uh, Bert Wheeler. A fellow named Maurice Barrett who was our rabbi. Remember Maurice Barrett? Yes, I guess that. Yeah. John Feeney, the Irish tenant, yeah. and a fellow named Howard Jones who was chairman of the board of Schaefer Beer. We all went over to the store club where Bert Barr hung out with his wife. He was always in the cup room. When we went over there, we went in his wife's room, in the cup room with Bert. Nobody else in the place. So we said, you mind leaving and we want to talk to Bert. So we all talked to him like Dutch uncle. You know, this is ridiculous. You love the lambs, people love you. Burl hasn't been in the club since he joined. So anyway, he came back to the club. So that was another. He had to be persuaded. He, yeah, he just wanted to be persuaded.